So Y'all I'm sitting out in Salisbury, North Carolina Waiting to deliver On this load I have I figured While I was sitting here I would go ahead and deal with um, This news This breaking news That has been being sent to me over And over again And I also saw it posted last night Over and over and over again and black people are rejoicing in the fact that the murderers of Ahmad Arbery the brother who was killed while jogging by Gregory McMichael and Travis McMichael they finally been arrested now Y'all know I got some problems, all right? And most of the things that occurs that we view as victories, the things that we view as wins, I don't necessarily uh, share the same perspective with majority of black folk when it comes to this. I saw people celebrating this uh, arrest as a marker of power that black people have if we just hashtag enough and make it a a issue on social media and social media platforms to uh, force the government in this case the police force in Brunswick to actually go out and arrest these murderers now the fact that it should have happened immediately is one thing the fact to me that black people should have been paying attention the entire time as to how these things go um, you know it should be something that we notice thus this wouldn't be a victory for our people we just watched a one Amber Geiger out of Texas get 10 years for cold-blooded murder of both our John. We watched that happen, right? I don't understand why we believe that justice will be served when the only justice in this situation would be for both Gregory and Travis, the caves, to get the death penalty. You already know that's not going to happen. You understand that's not going to happen, or I should say you should. Because I even saw the so-called woke conscious uh, people celebrating as well. And, you know, it, it's not got to the point to me where the line is so blurred to the people who are supposed to be, uh, would be woke or would be conscious, have the same mindsets the same uh, premature celebratory energy that the sleep do. I don't understand how we've allowed that line to be so blurred. You can't even tell the fucking difference anymore. I saw people who supposed to be some type of conscious celebrating this shit. Talking about some finally. What usually happens is You put social media pressure on this government or certain police departments. They go out and make an arrest. By the time the trial comes up, there is there isn't a an even, you know, carrying out of this justice. We know that's going to happen already, or at least we should. The only thing equal is the death penalty for them. They murdered him, right? The only thing equal would be the death penalty for them. That's the only uh, way to get justice, and we know that's not going to happen. We know that already. But black people are celebrating. I don't understand us. I really, really don't. National media has picked this up. They're covering it now. So if you want to make that something that, you know, people are excited about then maybe but i told y'all when i did my live on this 
I wouldn't have needed a goddamn national media coverage. I don't need all of that. I, I don't personally care about that. I would have went and dealt with them. They would have already been taken care of. And I would have been the national media coverage as to father murders two motherfuckers that killed his son. I would have been the news. You see. This wouldn't have been the news. That the same government that is responsible for how black men are being treated out here and the fact that we haven't gotten any justice whatsoever is somehow going to administer justice all of a sudden. It's not going to happen. At all. You celebrate these people being uh, put in jail. They already got GoFundMes and shit set up to look out for these people. That's how it works. We understand that the father worked very intimately with the system. As a private investigator for the DA and as a cop 3Ks for seven years earlier in, in his career. We understand this. We know that people who work within this system don't get the same type of sentencing. Trial doesn't go the same way as it would if these were two black men that had killed a white man. Talking about some citizen's arrest and claiming self-defense. It had been a completely different thing. The fact that that is the reality should humble black people. As opposed to us taking these crumb style victories and acting like they really mean something. I had one person send me the story and I told them, you know, I explained this to them best I could in text. It's hard for me to explain stuff in text. I end up having to type so much. But it was like, man, you just see the negative in everything. And I don't, I don't, I, I disagree with people saying that shit to me because it's like, I'm just telling you what's been happening here in America. Three K's don't get this shit fucked up incorporated. It's not my fault that it's negative. It's not my fault that I don't have high hopes about this system taking care of something for us. That's not my fault. I was born into this shit. It's not that I see the negative. I just don't understand. Uh, <clears throat> I don't understand how you what positive you're seeing in this shit. These two white men are gonna, aren't going to get the, the same situation that it would have been had this had they been uh, two black men. So therefore, there can be no justice. There can be no justice whatsoever through this system. Because we understand, we should understand by now, that this system isn't going to administer the same type of punishment. That's what justice is. Period. Say so they charge him with murder. And they have a Benjamin Crump who's representing uh who's uh, uh representing the family of Brother Aubrey. Now are you familiar with Benjamin Crump? He goes out here and he tries to get justice for uh, these uh, black families that end up in situations where they've had a loved one murder, uh, murdered. You think by now Benjamin Crump would just get on the fucking TV and just basically go ahead and admit his defeat. I know I'm going to lose because I'm representing a black family. And thus, because of the how this system is set up, I can't receive justice no matter how smart I am, no matter how many uh, law books I've read, no matter how good my arguments are. I know already this family isn't going to receive any justice that should be automatically uh you know based on the history based on actual events he should already know that now i guess i gotta give it to him for coming out here trying to have high hopes but i don't see how one would study law i didn't dedicate my life to studying law but i still know what the fuck's going to happen here they're going to have a trial they're going to explain to you how these two white men acted legally, regardless of the video. Because some people think, well, the video going to get them. Come on, y'all. Come on. Videos don't do shit. They just killed a brother on a, a Facebook Live. And this was a, a, a black cop, 3K steel. Don't get this shit fucked up. 
killed a brother Reed. I forget exactly what state it's in, and pardon me for forgetting the state it was in exactly on a Facebook Live. Shot him down and said something along the lines of, well, that's going to have to be a closed casket on this one. Kind of making light of the fact that he just murdered a man. Murdered a young brother. A black cop, three Ks. We've seen the times that black cops come out here and act a certain type of way. They get dealt with a little bit different, right? Because it's almost like I have to confirm with you guys that, that, you know, are we seeing the same shit? Are we paying attention to the same shit? I don't understand the, celebra uh, the celebration of these two um, being arrested and put in jail. I don't get I don't understand it. Because by now we should know what's going to happen. Had a best friend of uh, Brother Aubrey come out and say, give his little statement. Watch this shit. Let me show y'all something. Listen to this shit. This is what the best friend had to say. And it's going to put you in the mind. Remember Brother John's family. Listen to this shit. Aubrey's best friend says the community deserves to know the truth. It's not about one race, mm -hmm. you know, because we're all a community and we are all a community and we all see this what? As a tragedy to the community. Mm -hmm. It's not about black. It's not about white. What? It's not about race. You can't make this about race. It's about what's right and wrong and what happened. What? That's his best friend. Hold on. Maybe y'all didn't hear him. His best friend says the community we'll deserves do it again. to know Maybe y'all didn't hear this motherfucker. It's not about one race. Really? You know, because we're all a community and we all are we? community and we all see this as a tragedy to the community. Mm -hmm. What? It's not about black. It's not about white. It's not about race. We can't make this about race. It's about what's right and wrong and what happened. Did y'all, I mean, come on, man. This is what the fuck is going on. This is his best friend now who I would argue shouldn't have said anything. If this is all he had to add to the conversation, it's about the community. No, the fuck is not. How could you sit there and say some shit like that? Meanwhile, let me show y'all something. Hold on. His best friend. Cause I, ain't wanna, I just want to get to. There's a motherfucker sitting beside him that didn't punch him in the face. How do you stay that calm? Whoever the black man is that's with the, the friend. How the fuck you stay that calm while he's sitting here saying this shit? Oh, it ain't about race. It's about the community. No, it's not. The white community didn't take no L. Our community takes the L's. Not theirs. How the fuck can you say it's not about race when you know damn well two black men would not have been able to kill no white man? And run around out here for two months and nothing happened. It's absolutely about race. When we're dealing with this justice system, it's always about race. When you are looking at how things happen in this country. Where, I mean, when you're, when you're dealing with the justice system in particular, it's always about race, man. Where the fuck you been, best friend? It would make me, you know, question what type of, you know, what type of mindset that Aubrey would have, brother Aubrey would have, even hanging with a motherfucker like this. Like, how this the homie? Anybody claiming to be my friend? If I get murdered in cold blood out here in these streets, you come out here and say some shit like this, I'm coming for you. My ghost gonna come for your motherfucking ass. You gonna hear me sound like a goddamn ghost. Coom. Coom. Cause we not gonna do the bullshit. And I'm coming. I'm coming to get you touched cause this is a goddamn disgrace. How the fuck can a black person sit here and say it's not about race? Come on now. This is America. Three K's. Do not get this shit fucked up. Incorporated. Y'all understand.
This is not a victory for black people. Y'all can call me negative. People can say whatever the fuck they want about me. I just know what the situation is. Black people have this fantasy we've created in our mind. We're on a search for power. And we don't care if it's the illusion of power that we receive in place of actual power as long as it's something. We don't care about the reality. That doesn't bother us. The reality of the situation that we're in doesn't mean anything. We'd rather create these illusions. Had somebody tell me, oh, well, this is a step in the right direction. What? That's the, 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 the dialogue of a defeated people. A step in the right direction? White people being arrested isn't a rare or new thing. Now, of course, they're not arrested at the same levels that we're arrested, of course. But we know in the area of social media and, 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 and social media outrage that these motherfuckers will make some arrests. But y'all gonna be mad again when it comes to the sentencing. Aren't y'all? Even if they find them guilty like they did Gagger. You gonna be you, you gonna be re-mad at the sentencing, then you're gonna forget all about it. Because I shouldn't even have to reference this Amber Gagger story to reframe this for y'all. This just, just happened. That's how fast y'all forget. Because y'all on to the next one after that. Doing the goddamn Savage Challenge after that. So, because we forget so fast, it doesn't allow us to frame things properly. And thus, you out here celebrating two white men being arrested by the same system that would have killed, kill, uh, killed that black man themselves if they'd have had the goddamn opportunity. If they would have been on patrol, this could have been two full-blown cops, 3Ks, on patrol, saw him running, and the same goddamn thing would have happened. Even if they found guilty, the sentencing will be light. Because you have to understand that the prosecutor argued that they acted uh, 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 in the, the, the uh, realm of the citizen's arrest law. That's in place. They're going to a court system where law matters. Even if the law is fucking dumb. The fact that Y'all remember Zimmerman, right? It was a stand your ground law that exonerated him. Now, of course, we understand him being a caves exonerated him immediately. But we have to understand these laws as well. It was stand your ground, right? You don't think the defense attorney for these two caves is going to argue that they were acting within the law? And y'all hype? Y'all done threw Sean King up on your goddamn shoulders as usual, which is disgusting at this point. As far as black, black people are concerned, or as far as I'm concerned with black people, y'all keep throwing Sean King up on your goddamn shoulders. You got black people out here doing the same work, putting out the same type information, and y'all would rather throw Sean King up on your goddamn shoulders. This is the people that we're dealing with. I mean, look at the mentality we're dealing with here. Sean King? Still? Like, still, after all these people that's on, whether it be YouTube or, you know, would be uh, the so-called black media, black media outlets, um, certain activists and things like that, how the fuck are y'all still holding Sean King up like he the only one y'all got? I seen this motherfucker puffing his chest out. Talking about the only reason these two people ain't dead. Is because he hasn't allowed it. Y'all let him say shit like this. It was something along the lines of well. I got 150 motherfuckers right now that'll come kill these two motherfuckers. But I, I, I'm going to chill right now. What? Y'all don't let this motherfucker believe he's God to the black community like that? We look silly having a white savior all while trying to fight a white system. 
We look silly. Our greats already told us. Our great teachers, master teachers already told us what the fuck was going on. Y'all don't let this motherfucker come in here, say the same ass bullshit, and y'all hold him up in such high regard. It's, it's mind blowing to me. I don't even know how y'all still share his shit. I don't get it. Oh, why you trying to fight a white sister? I think Bernie Sanders came out and said something. Y'all's boy Joe Biden came out and said something. Everybody gonna jump on the bandwagon to gain favor. But that judge and jury gonna have the final say. And when sentences comes out, Y'all gonna be mad again for about two days. I think typically it's about 48 hour cycle. Maybe a 72 hour cycle. Maybe. And y'all be right on to the next thing. Cause y'all keep forgetting. And maybe it's my fault cause I don't forget. Maybe that's why I'm viewed as negative or, you know, people think I'm always uh, being or being the bearer of bad news really. It's like, well, maybe y'all just, y'all's amnesia is, I don't got amnesia like y'all. Y'all keep forgetting the things that we saw happen over and over again. And then I'm wrong for remembering. I'm negative for remembering. I'm negative for not celebrating this shit. There is nothing happening thus far that's celebratory and I know at the end of the day these two motherfuckers are not going to get the death penalty and thus there can't be any justice served it's impossible and the coon friend has already started like brother John's family did talking about it ain't about race it's about the community come on now If we don't get our shit, if we don't focus better. Because this society sees, sees us celebrating. Well, we arrested them. These niggas is happy. That's all we need to do. We'll, we'll disappoint them down the line with the trial and everything. But they happy right now. Now That's all we need to do is get them off our back for a second. Let's throw out their, um, the, you know, the Reed shooting. Because it was one of them that shot him. So let's throw that out there. Let's put that on the forefront. Maybe they'll, you know, kind of move their attention. I even saw a story of a, uh, it was a, a white driver in some state. I want, was it Indiana? No, maybe, maybe it was. I think Indiana was where the Reed, Brother Reed got shot. But I'm not sure. I'm mixing the states up. But it was a white driver who shot and killed a, uh, a black man. Said he thought he was in a gang. This is what's happening out here in these streets, y'all. People get mad at me when I suggest that we put self-defense awareness over self-defense and awareness over vanity. People get mad at me for that. But it's like the the proof is here. Like I'm I don't have to make this shit. They're out here knocking black people off. And particularly black men. Knocking you off. You standing in line for Jordans. You not standing in line to get your gun permits. At the range. Leaving learning hand to hand combat. A lot of you motherfuckers can't fight. Can't defend yourself. Don't know the law. Like I mean come on y'all. Come on. And then you got Mike Epps. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to cover Mike Epps and then we're going to get out of here, all right? I'm going to leave y'all alone after this. Let me pull up Mike Epps real quick. Let me pull up Mike Epps. 
Here's what Mike Epps had to add to the conversation. Man, we got to stop giving them an opportunity to kill us. We got to stop giving Here them an opportunity to kill us. Mm -hmm. They're killing us because they watching us kill us. And young black. They are killing us because they watching us kill us. Y'all hear this shit now? Mike Epps isn't the first one to say this. If there is any, you know, I'm not trying to save them, but understand this is a rhetoric that I've been hearing for years. This is what black people say. You know, they, they, they'll start sounding like the motherfuckers on Fox News. When you have black people who will come out here and give the white man, his mama, the caves, will give them a just cause to kill us. A just and righteous cause. Well, we're doing it. We killing black folk because they killing each other anyway. So let the white man and his mama say that. Why the fuck do you niggas come out of nowhere and say this shit for them? Let them be their own mouthpiece and justify their fucking murderous and savage motherfucking ways. That's not the reason they kill us. They kill us because they can do it with impunity. That's why they kill us. It has nothing to do with us killing us. Because if we was killing them motherfuckers when they kill us, they wouldn't be killing us at the rate that they are. They've been killing us since we... Hell, as soon, soon as we was on the plantations, they've been killing us. We got so-called free, killing us. What you mean? They kill us because they see us kill us. They kill us... Because they can. And they know coon ass, bitch ass, hoe ass niggas like you gonna come out here and say stupid ass shit like that on their behalf. How the fuck you justify the murder of your own people? I wouldn't give a damn what the murder rate was when we understand though, we understand that the black on black crime, that whole you know, talking point is trash. We understand this by now. We understand that the white man is the most diabolical criminal motherfucker on the planet. And always has been. Always has been. You should know that by now. Okay? They kill us because when they kill us, we still kill us. We don't go kill them. That's the message. But when you got coons coming out here. Who will sit here and say this type of shit. Basically just the value of the black life means nothing even to black people. The white man and his mama. They're like hey well shit. I didn't think of that but. Since the niggas putting it like that. It's not real, man. This narrative that is being creative is not a real narrative. And I'm tired of black people allowing other black people to have this narrative and agreeing with it. It's not just him. This is what black people say. He's not the first one. He won't be the last. That'll sit here and tell you that, you know, white people killing us because we killing us. When the fact of the matter is white people kill us because the justice system has their back. The cops have their back. And because our goons, our gangsters, are more inclined to target us before they will target a Zimmerman, before they will target these McMichaels. If there was a cost to killing us from somewhere, then it wouldn't happen like that. But there's no cost. And whoever kills us gets GoFundMe pages and shit. So y'all understand that this climate that we live in, it's not that I'm being negative. It's that I pay attention 
And I don't fucking forget what's going on out here. It's not going to take them to, you know, let these two white men off for me to get mad. I'm already mad. I stay mad in a perpetual state of rage at all times. Y'all gonna wait, but I'm already there and I stay there. So understand what's going on here, y'all. This means nothing. The video means nothing. The arrest means nothing. But y'all like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. The links to follow me are in the description box. Black first, second, and third. Child Team Rob, y'all already know what the fuck it is. I'm out.